Hello and welcome to A Bit Too Much to Think. Today is the sixth episode of a series on sovereign citizens. Now, if you're not familiar with sovereign citizens, they're essentially a group of people that pick and choose which laws to follow. And as you'll see from this court case that I'm discussing today, Thompson v. Smith, they really take that to the nth degree and really cherry pick the things that they want to believe. So, this episode is on Thompson v. Smith. Very often, sovereign citizens will quote Thompson v. Smith as proof that driving is a right rather than a privilege. And very frequently, police officers will say driving is a privilege, not a right. And so, as an example, when sovereign citizens get their driver's license taken away because of speeding, because of drunk driving, because of any number of things, they say that driving is a right anyway, so they don't even need a license to drive. So, let's talk about Thompson v. Smith. It is a 1930 court case from the Virginia Supreme Court. Now, this necessitates that we talk a little bit about the jurisdiction of state Supreme Courts. So, I'm just going to give a disclaimer so that I'm not plagiarizing. This entire section comes from my college judicial processes textbook. Yeah, I I never thought I'd actually use a college textbook again, but um, it's called The Judicial Process, and it's by Christopher Banks and David O'Brien. So, state Supreme Courts only decide matters of state law. Local laws, state constitutions, whatever. The decisions have to be respected in both state and federal courts, even if they only apply in the state that the Supreme Court is in. So if one state decides that marijuana is legal, the other one decides that it's not, that still has to be respected in both state and federal courts, as long as it's, you know, a a Supreme Court decision. Now, the United States Supreme Court has the right to review state Supreme Court cases in the Constitution under Article 3. However, according to uh, a scholarly article that I found, only one half of 1% of state Supreme Court cases are reviewed by the U.S. Supreme Court, so it doesn't really happen often. But it's worth noting that according to Michigan v. Long in 1983, uh, which is a U.S. Supreme Court case, state courts must, and this is a quote, make a plain statement that their decisions have adequate and independent state grounds for basing a decision on the state constitution. So this is important because if they base their decision on U.S. Supreme Court decisions or on the U.S. Constitution, it will be assumed that they're interpreting federal law and then it can be reversed by the U.S. Supreme Court. So no matter what Thompson v. Smith says, unless the U.S. Supreme Court confirmed the decision, which it didn't, It is only really deciding state law, not federal law. So even if Thompson v. Smith did say you don't need a license to travel, that would only really matter in the state of Virginia, not elsewhere. But let's look at the case. So the part of the case that is so often cherry-picked by sovereign citizens states, and this is a quote, I'm just quoting the whole thing, the right of a citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon in the ordinary course of life and business is a common right, which he has under his right to enjoy life and liberty, to acquire and possess property, and to pursue happiness and safety. And then later in that paragraph it says, It is not a mere privilege, like the privilege of moving a house in the street, operating a business stand in the street, or transporting persons or property for hire along the street, which a city may permit or prohibit at will. Now, what this sounds like is that driver's licenses are invalid and a violation of rights, and what that would imply is that you don't really need a license to drive, and that's where the sovereign citizens are getting their supposed fact. But, moving forward, the very next paragraph of the decision then says, quote, The exercise of such a common right the city may, under its police power, regulate, in the interest of public safety and welfare but it may not arbitrarily or unreasonably prohibit or restrict it, nor may it permit one to exercise it and refuse to permit another of like qualifications under like conditions and circumstances to exercise it. So, what does that mean? That means that in the interest of public safety and welfare, driver's licenses are valid. Having some sort of evidence of competency behind the wheel is perfectly valid. Now, the second half of that last paragraph that I quoted, it says, you know, you can't arbitrarily or unreasonably prohibit or or restrict it. That's what Thompson v. Smith is actually about, uh, is this guy that claimed that he was being restricted of his driver's license unfairly, and they're basically just saying it has to be distributed fairly. The police cannot arbitrarily just take away someone's driver's license. 
you have to do something to get it taken away. And that includes things like excessive speeding, excessive tickets, uh, driving under the influence. So that's why that's important. Uh, it's not saying that everyone deserves a license. It's saying that it has to be regulated in an equal and fair manner. And that's what really matters in Thompson v. Smith. But this is a perfect example of why it's so important to understand context, especially in cases of law and court decisions. But even outside of those spheres in everyday life, it's so important to understand the context. So please look for that. Don't just cherry pick things. It really does not benefit you in any way. And let me just be very clear at the end here. When I say the right of the citizen to travel, it's the exact same as driving. It's just operating a motor vehicle. I have already covered in a previous episode that driving and traveling are not really separate things. Um, so check that out if you're interested. I believe that's the episode on Black's Law Dictionary. So in summary, Thompson v. Smith holds that driving can be regulated. Operating an automobile can be regulated. And please, for the love of Pete, don't take things out of context. Thank you very much for listening to this episode of A Bit Too Much To Think. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And comment if you have any more thoughts on it. Thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful day.